Here we are with uh, middleweight contender Latif Mundy, who on September 29th gets a chance at redemption when he takes on Patrick Majewski in a fight that's going to be seen on GFL.TV. Uh, how's everything going? It's going great. One day at a time, uh, eating right, training right. Uh, we got some new blood in our camp. Uh, you know, Tommy Barnes. You know, we're working on a whole lot of things. Uh, um, you got a rematch now. Um, let's talk about just the rematch aspect. You're familiar with this guy. You fought him before. Right, right. Um, how much does the first fight mean going to this, to this? Is it just a clean slate, or do you? You know, I, I try not to dwell on the past anyway. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's a new slate. Uh, you know, we try to bring new things into the uh, fight because one thing can change the difference of a fight. You know, uh, like I say, you know, he, he slipped up one time, and you know, it's a possibility. And I can be the new WBO, no champ. So we just we'll wait and see what happens. Um, I, if I recall the first fight, you had some trouble maybe dealing with his height early, but you came on a little bit in the later rounds. Uh, is, is that your recollection of the fight? Well, uh, I felt like I felt like I came on a little too late. You know, I gave away too much. Uh, so now, now we try to uh, we're just gonna try to uh, capitalize on all his mistakes, the mistakes he make. But that takes you know uh, uh, watching and being right there. You know, being a good student while you're in there, not just, you know what I mean, uh, getting tied up into the fight itself, you know, but actually looking at the mistakes he make and, uh, uh, you know, and trying to fix it right there. You said you came on a little too late and we, you know, kind of pushed that with a question I just asked about what does the first fight mean. Right. You feel because maybe you could have, you could be now carrying on a little bit momentum mm -hmm. from that last fight being that, like, you know, Maybe the first four or five rounds didn't go your way, but maybe the last two or three did the last time. And you feel now that you may have had this guy figure out a little bit? Well, uh, I'm pretty sure that he's going to change his game up because we don't fought before. You know, just like we want to change our game up. That's, that's uh, a, a sign of good fighters right there. Dusky's not uh, Dusky's a machine. I'm the oil. You know, and together it should make for a good fight. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, whatever, like I said, whatever mistakes he made, you know, uh, Hopefully you still keep making those mistakes, you know, and we can capitalize on them. Do you have, is this a little bit extra, I mean, you've had about 15, 16 fights now. Mm -hmm. um, is this like maybe the most motivation possible to be able to avenge that? Do you think it's your first rematch? Well, you know, all fights, no, it's not my first rematch. In fact, I fought, uh, I fought Williams twice. Uh, Williams but, was a guy one in four. But you beat him. But I beat him, but, you know, was a, you know he was a tough fighter, though. You but know? now you're on the other side, what I mean by motivation in the sense that, no, you, you you have a chance. You actually now have a chance to get even with somebody. Absolutely. I mean, is that maybe a little extra as well? Well, I think every fight is an opportunity uh, to get through because I mean, once you leave these gym doors, uh, the struggle is still there. You know what I mean? You still got to get the bills paid. And I got three kids and a wife, and at the end of the day, that's what that is right there. That's my motivation. I don't I don't care about the belt. I don't care about uh, what people think. You know what I do care about is is providing for uh, uh, my family. You know what I mean? And, and to beat this guy. Would, would, uh, could make the difference of, of uh, uh, the schools my kids go to, uh, the, the, uh, the struggle, period. It can make everything easier. So everything it, it doesn't mean um, even a tiny bit extra, mean that this guy's, this guy's got one up on you. Right, right. And, uh, and our job is to fix that. <laughs> so, so there is like a little extra, like, you know, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You know, uh, in fact, you know, I've always wanted to get even. You know what I mean? Anybody who's ever beat me, I like to get even. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just the fight of spirit right there. And, uh, and that never goes away. You know, I can be 50 years old and I'll still have that fight of spirit. You know what I mean? You know, if you beat me, I like to beat you. So. You're fighting Atlantic City. You're very familiar with fighting down there. Uh, talk about fighting close to home. It feels good. Uh, uh, a lot of supporters, a lot of people come and see me. Uh, especially when you fight for a belt. Everybody comes out when you fight for a belt. But, you know, it's a good opportunity, uh, like I said, uh, for me, you know, uh, you get to fight for the crowd, you can lose that way too. So uh, we like to take our game plan in there and, uh, and execute perfectly what we want to do. Uh, that's how we're going to bring the win. That's how we like bring the win. Anything you want to say in closing? Uh, well, 29th, September 29th, uh, come watch us down at uh, the Resorts Casino. Uh, Latif Mundy versus Pat Majewski, Majewski, Uh and should make for a good fight. Thanks.